Hey guys, it's Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to solve manometer pressure problems. Manometer is an apparatus that allows you to measure the pressure of a gas by comparing it to the pressure of the atmosphere. So here we have a manometer on the left side, you, you have the gas, and then on the uh, right side in the open end, that's the atmosphere. And you can think of the pressure, the gas ex exerting a downward pressure, and then the manometer exerting is also exerting a downward pressure. So you can take a look and compare the levels of the, with the mercury. So if the levels on both sides are the same, that means that uh, the pressure of the gas will equal the pressure of the outside atmosphere. But if the level on, on the gas is lower than the level on the atmosphere side, that means the, pr the gas is exerting a stronger downward pressure than the atmosphere. So uh, we can say that the pressure of the gas is going to be greater than the pressure of the atmosphere. And we can actually solve for the pressure of the gas by looking at the difference between the two levels, the difference in the height. And we can say that the pressure of the gas is equal to the pressure of the outside atmosphere plus the height difference, that, because that will make the pressure of the gas greater. On the other side, on the other hand, if the pressure at the line on the atmosphere side is lower than the line on the gas side, that means the pressure of the atmosphere is greater because it's pushing down more. So then we can say that the pressure of the gas equals the pressure of the atmosphere minus the, the height difference because that will make the pressure of the gas smaller. Okay, now let's take a look at a couple examples. In the first example, we're going to determine the pressure of the neon. And you can see that the line on the neon side is higher up than the line on the atmosphere side. So that means the pressure, the atmosphere is exerting a stronger downward pressure than neon is. So we can say that the pressure of neon will be less than the pressure of the atmosphere. So then pressure of the neon will equal the pressure of the atmosphere, 748, minus the height difference, 5. So that will give us the pressure of 400, 743 millimeters of mercury. Next, here we're determining the pressure of CO2. Let's first determine whether the pressure of CO2 is going to be greater than or less than the pressure of the atmosphere. You can see that the CO2 line is lower than the atmosphere line. So that means the CO2 is pushing more strongly down than the atmosphere is. So then we can say that the pressure of CO2 is going to be greater than the pressure of the atmosphere. So we, we have this scenario right here. So then the pressure of CO2 will equal the pressure of the atmosphere plus the height difference. But this time the atmosphere and the height difference, they're in different units. So we should definitely convert them to the same units and we'll just convert the ATM into millimeters of mercury. So it'll be 1.05 ATM multiplied by the conversion factor 760 millimeters of mercury over one ATM. And that'll give us 798 millimeters of mercury. And if you're having trouble with pressure conversions, just take a look at my pressure conversion video where I go over how to convert between all different types of gas pressures units. Then let's plus substitute that in. So this will be one this will be 798 millimeters of mercury and minus the height difference of 75, 71 millimeters of mercury and that will give us a final pressure of 800 and whoops meant to add instead of subtract so add that will give us a final pressure of 869 millimeters of mercury all right, let's take a look at one final problem. This time we're not given a picture, we're just given words and we have to uh, figure out the, figure it out with the words. So we are given that a container of helium is connected to a manometer and the mercury level is 145 millimeters lower on the side open to the atmosphere. So let's just start by drawing out a generic manometer. We'll have uh, a gas and it's gonna connect it, connect it to a tube that is exposed to the atmosphere. And then it's, we have helium gas in here, and it's saying that the pressure of the atmosphere is 775 millimeters of mercury. And it's also saying that the mercury level is 145 mil lower on the side open to the atmosphere. So that means the line on the atmosphere side is gonna be lower than the line on the gas side. And this height difference is 145 
millimeters of mercury. So that means the pressure of the helium gas is going to be less than the pressure of the atmosphere because the the atmosphere line is lower so that means it's pushing more strongly down than the helium is. So that means the pressure of helium is going to equal the pressure of the atmosphere minus the height difference. Substitute the numbers in pressure of the atmosphere 775 minus the height difference of 145. They're both in millimeters mercury right now, so I don't have to do any conversions. And then that will give us a final pressure of 630 millimeters of mercury as the answer for the pressure of helium. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.